Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. You know, you can celebrate the opening of the Winter Olympics with a pop-up report that features the Olympic rings from the Olympic flag. If you look here, the pop-up element is what makes this so fun. When I open it up, you can see that the rings are actually attached to this pop-up portion of the report. And then I've got lined paper down below where the students would write their report about any of the things that they want to study regarding the Olympics. They might want to talk about the colors that are representing the flags of all the nations in the Olympics, or they might be talking about that the five rings represent the five continents. There's all kinds of great things that you can study to go along with all of the television viewing of the Winter Olympics. In order to begin, let's look at the rings itself. Now, what you need to do is, is figure out a way to create the rings, and there's a couple of choices. What I did in this example is I took a circle that was three inch and a circle that was two inch, and I cut the two inch out of the three inch, which resulted in a ring formula. And then I did it out of the different colors so that they could be woven together. Here is an example. If you look over at the table here, I just took the wedding ring and I cut the diamond off in order to get the rings that I'm gonna use for the pop-up report today. And in order to interlock them, I just took a pair of scissors. In fact, you can see one of the, I only had to cut apart the yellow one. And over here, you can see I cut apart the green one, but you can turn these, if I'll do this, show you with the yellow, you can turn these after you use the open area to allow you to slide them and interlock them. Then you can position it so that the place where you cut it does no longer show. And it can be sitting behind um, one of the rings on which it overlaps. Once you've created that pattern of the different colored rings, now you have to look at creating the pop-up style of the report. So let me show you what you do there. I started with just construction paper that I folded in half, and then I'm gonna give you a pattern that you can download for this pop-up format. Once you cut and you fold on the dotted lines, it will give you this element. Once it's all cut and folded, I just am gonna fold it. You can see that it doubles up, it's, it's a mirror image. I'm gonna put adhesive on this one flap that's going to sit, let's see, it's gonna sit in this position here. So I'm gonna put adhesive on this flap first. You'd put a little more adhesive than that. And I'm lining this up so that the tip is in my fold channel and the end is lined up with the top. And then I'm gonna press it down and then I'll take and I'll put adhesive once again, you're gonna put more adhesive than that on this last flap, and then all I have to do is close that cover, and watch, when I open this up, now you have the pop-up element. Once you have this element, then you can go back and you can attach whichever style of rings that you've created in order to sit on there. And if I go back to the finished one, you can see how cool that is, and it creates this wonderful effect. Now this is using it to study the Olympic Games. Here is another example using the same pop-up format, but when I open it up, you can see how this has been used to create the study of butterflies or metamorphosis going from um, a caterpillar, from a cocoon, and then into the butterfly. Once again, the same exact pattern that you'll have that you can print is used to create this pop-up element that can be used for this style as well. You know, the style of pop-up leaves lots of room for writing reports on any number of subjects, including the Winter Olympics. It's no kidding.